Sounds more like she let slip some inside information that us plebs are not supposed to have, really, to me. Do you like buying stuff on Amazon? Yeah, who doesn't, right? Well, if you use the link on the screen to buy the stuff you would have bought anyway, I get a little bit of commission to help support this channel, and it doesn't cost you any more. So you support this channel for doing stuff you would have done anyway. Have a look. Hi, it's me again, and yeah, The Apprentice is nearly upon us. And the sad thing is, because I don't pay the TV license fee, it's going to be tricky for me to watch it. Although I do go once a week around family's houses or friends' houses, so I might be able to get on iPlayer there and have a look. But it did make me laugh when I saw this headline, because she's not far off, and maybe she knows something we're not supposed to know, eh? Look, BBC Breakfast, Sally Nugent brands The Apprentice more like Love Island. Well, it is a big hit of reality show for the BBC. And Live Island is the big hitting reality show for ITV. And the BBC wouldn't mind a bit of that. They wouldn't mind a bit of that. It gets big ratings. For some reason, I will never understand, Love Island gets quite big ratings for ITV, doesn't it? And that's the way it's going. You can't watch The Apprentice and believe it's a business show. There's nothing on it about business. They might have to do business related tasks, but not one of them <laughs> ever has been well, in the last what, 10 years or so, has been capable of doing anything business related. They're there to grow their Instagram following and to become influencers, as is the dream nowadays. It's got nothing to do with business at all. And a lot of it, I wonder about Lord Sugar's business ability. You know, because he, he said this, look. Lord Sugar gives stern warning to the apprentice cast and praises past millionaires. So Lord Sugar is the business magnate that's supposed to help get these businesses off the ground. Because the prize used to be working for Lord Sugar, didn't it? And a lot of them didn't last very long in that, but that's not the point. Now, he gives you a quarter of a million quid and takes a 50% share in your business. Whether that business goes on to be worth a billion or 50 quid, he owns 50% of it for his 250 grand. And that's what you sign up for. But as I said, he said this, which makes me doubt his business ability somewhat. Lord Sugar said, Let's be open about this. Not everyone succeeds. They are told at the beginning, there's 250 grand, and that's it, no more. All you're going to get is my mentoring, my help, assistance from my staff. If you run out of money, you're done. If you run out of money, you're done. Now, I wonder how many groups of finance, like something like Netflix went through, or Google went through. You know, they have an initial financing where they get the money, and if they burn through that, they raise more money, and they water you down a bit, they raise more money, and then they raise more money, raise more money. And that's how you get to be a giant business, like Netflix or Uber, they keep raising money. But not Lord Sugar, you spend this 250 grand and your business goes flat, that's you done. Not putting any more money in to try and prop up the business to make it bigger, no, I'm just gonna wipe my face of the 250 grand if you balls it up, and I'll move on to the next one, so. Yeah, all right there, Shugs, all right, son. You know, some of the articles that you see about meeting the candidates for this year's Apprentice, all it mentions a lot is how many Instagram followers they've got or how big they are on TikTok. You know, if, if you're that good at business, if you're that good at being an entrepreneur, you'd be too busy to go on the show, right? Loads of them say they had to quit their job or stop trading their business to go on the show. Yeah, successful entrepreneur, that's one and all. But that's why I love the show. I love the show because they're so bad at doing business. And I'm lucky enough in my life to know some people who are really good at doing business. I, a friend of mine, he's, um, he's well, how old is he now? 29, 30? And he recently sold his business for 13 million quid that he's been doing since he was 18 years old, doing 16 hour days. The blokes worked really hard for it and I couldn't be prouder for him. And I said to him once, why don't you go on The Apprentice? You are proper at this business stuff. I'm too bloody busy, mate, go on The Apprentice. Says everything to me, really, doesn't it? Let me know what you think about this. Are you going to watch it? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And that way, hopefully, I'll see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta da.